In question 16, the position of a particle moving along a straight line is given as S is equal to T square minus 40 plus 3 meters. The magnitude of the displacement of the particle during the interval T is equal to 0 till its velocity becomes 0 is. Now let us first find out the velocity of the particle. Velocity is given as ds by dt and this will be equal to 2t minus 4. Now this will be equal to 0 when t will be equal to 4 by 2 that is 2 seconds. So we have actually calculated the time at which the velocity is 0. Now this one, we have to find out the displacement from 0 till t is equal to 2 seconds. So this will be equal to let us find out the position at t is equal to 2 seconds this will be 2 square minus 4 into 2 plus 3 that is minus 1 and at t is equal to 0 this will be 0 square minus 4 into 0 plus 3 that is 3 now the displacement will be position at t is equal to 2 minus position at t is equal to 0 this will be equal to minus 4 and the magnitude of minus 4 that we have to calculate is 4 meters and hence for this question the correct answer is option number 4. Now let us proceed to the question number 17. In this question a body starting with a speed 10 meter per second returns to its initial position after 4 seconds with the same speed along the same line. The magnitude of the acceleration of the body is. Dear student, the acceleration is defined as the change in velocity divided by time. So here the time is given as 4 seconds. The change in velocity can be easily written. Initially the body has a velocity of 10 meter per second towards right and at the end it has a velocity of 10 meter per second towards left. Let us represent that by minus 10 where minus represents the opposite direction. So acceleration will be change in velocity by time. So this will be equal to minus 10 that is the final velocity minus initial velocity divided by 4 and this will be equal to minus 5 meter per second square. As we have to calculate the magnitude the magnitude of minus 5 will be equal to 5 meter per second square meaning that the correct answer for this question is option number 1. Moving on to question number 18. Question 18 says an elevator is going up. The variation in the speed v of the elevator is as given in the graph. The maximum height to which the elevator takes the passenger is. The student in this case the maximum height will be equal to the area of the velocity time graph as the velocity time graph's area give the displacement. Now let us find out the area. This first part is a triangle and the area will be half into base into height. The second part is a rectangle and the area is equal to length into breadth. And the third part is again is a triangle. So this will be equal to half into base into height. This will be equal to 64 plus 16 which gives us a value of 80 meters. So the maximum height to which the elevator takes the passenger is 80 meters meaning that the correct answer for this question is option number 3. Now let us move to the question number 19. In this question a stone projected vertically upwards with velocity v from top of a tower reaches the ground with speed 3v. We have to calculate the height of the tower. Now let us draw the diagram to understand this. There is a tower of height h and from this a body is projected upward with a velocity v and it reaches down with a velocity 3v. So this is the trajectory taken by the particle. Now dear student, let us begin by finding out the height of the tower through the concept that as the body crosses the height of the tower again, it will have a speed v again. So from this part of the journey, we can use the equation of motion that v square is equal to u square plus 2as. Here the final speed is 3v, so 3v square, initial speed is v, so v square plus 2 into a which is g that we can write down to be equal to g only into s which is h. Now just one, from this question we can write down that h will be equal to 4 v square by g and this is the height of the tower giving us that the final answer for this question is option number 2. Let us proceed and solve the question number 20. Question 20 says an electron starting from rest has an acceleration which increases linearly with time in one direction as a is equal to 2t plus 3. The change in velocity of the electron in first 2 seconds will be. The student acceleration is written as dv by dt. Here in acceleration is given as 2t plus 3. So 2t plus 3 can be written as dv by dt. 
from this we can write down the dv will be equal to 2t plus 3 into dt and integrate on both sides. On the left hand side this will be equal to delta v that is the change in velocity while on the right hand side it will be equal to t square plus 3t and the limits will be from 0 to 2. This will give us a value of 4 plus 6 that is 10 meter per second and hence for this question the correct answer is option number 4. Now let us move to the question number 21. 